This weekend, we're heading south along the Western Air Peninsula from Sejuna to Port Lincoln and return. We've got a jam-packed itinerary to try and see as much as we can over just three days. First stop, Murphy's Haystacks. One, two, for you. One, two, for me. Let's go. Let's go. The rock formations obtained their name because a traveller in a coach saw the formation in the distance and asked how a farmer could produce so much hay. As the rock formation was on a property owned by a man called Murphy, the rocks became known as Murphy's Haystacks. Took a couple of quick picks from the bonnet, then continued along the road to arrive at our camp just after sunset. Right there, it's literally just cliff face. So that's pretty cool. So about a metre to a metre and a half, and there is cliff face. So the sunrise will be sick. We're camping somewhere near Horrocks Lookout. I think it's like Halls Bay or something. How good. So the camp is set up so we we get the good view. Probably can't see anything right now. Moon's out. But I'll take you up to the cliff edge. That's the cliff edge there need a better light you can hear the ocean so we've got the classic two-minute noodles me goreng in the little camp master Kmart rocket stove thing so we're going to tuck into them and then we're going to call it a night so we can get up early and watch the sunrise Good morning. We woke up for the sunrise this morning, but it's quite overcast, so I don't think we'll see much of a show. But it's still lovely. We Hi. having tea in Anzac Bickies before we head to Port Lincoln for brunch. Morning, Maisie. How nice is this? Always exciting when you get to a camp at, at night. You can't really see anything and then you wake up the next morning and realize where you are. It's beautiful.
What did you think of the camp? Camp was probably one of my favourite camps in South Australia, I'd say, so far. It was very nice. We both really liked it. But we're heading to Port Lincoln today. So we've just had our brekkie in Port Lincoln at the local French cafe. But anyway, you get that. What was the same? We're in Port Lincoln. It's not the nicest weather, but uh, yeah. Just stopped at the swimming hole on Whaler's Way. <laughs> Philip's sussing out the, the walk down. It's very rugged, definitely. And quite beautiful. The sun's come back out for us, so it's exciting. <laughs> Go for a walk down, eh? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I've sailed down a chain. I've sailed down a chain and then go down this precarious staircase. Holy dooly, that is so sketchy. But how good would the fishing be there for you? Wow. Like, look at it. You're like, there's big fish there. We've located the swimming hole. Are you going to go down? It's windy and quite cold. I would say it's in the teens. <laughs> but it'd be a very icy dip. It would be a very icy dip. It looks lovely. Tempted. I'm also on a fish. I want to get a squeaking fish off there. That ladder is hilarious. We've decided we're going to come back tomorrow. Well, we're camping here tonight, so we're going to come back in the morning and climb down the sketchy ladder at the swimming hole. Let's go 
and see if we can find some fur seals. Fur seals are on this rock down there. this one was. Do not go beyond this point. Oh, here we go. That is beautiful. It does look I mean, inviting. It's inviting isn't it? <laughs> Not right now because it's too cold. But no. Yeah. It's I feel like this isn't even rough either. Yeah. This is probably not rough. Probably for a lot worse. I'd say so. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I think it's the rears. I just gotta dig out a bit. Makes it easy to get the shovel. <laughs> All right, we'll give that a go. You'd think we'd learn. We always air down. We always air down if we go on a beach. Made it to the beach. Looks really nice. Can see a ladder over there. I think that's the only way down. Just chocking her up because we don't want to roll it off the cliff in the middle of the night, you know? We can't trust the old handbrake. The gear, but you know. We can't for the night.
slopes up the top of the cliff there and we're down at this spot here bit of a climb down and we're fishing it looks like a good spot it looks like a, there's a big edge and it drops off so i'm going to cast it over fingers crossed we don't get too many snags got a beer what an arvo eh how good's this we've also got some the bait that we've got is the squid is the squid that we got about three days ago it's not super fresh but it's been kept really cold so fingers crossed can get us what we need we're getting some good bites Can't set the hook on one of them, eh? Nope. Nothing. What have we got? What have we got? What's that little thing? You know what this little fish is? Too small to keep. It's probably a great eating fish. If you know what this little fish is, oh, oh, she's slippery. One sec. If you know what this little fish is, third time's a charm. Just let me know in the comments. Look at the coloring on it. Green, brown. Anyway, we'll get him back in. We'll get this hook out. But he's got some sharp teeth. What have we got? Fish. We'll have to look up what that is. This is good fun though. Bloody sharp teeth on them. Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth on that. Num num num. There you go. That's the fish there. So if you can pop in the comments what sort of fish that is, that would be very helpful. I'm fisher on, so I'm going down. Another fish. Good size one this time. Not too sure what it is. Again. That's it there. How good's that? How good's that? Look at the angles on it. Oh. Claire's got another one of those vampire fish. How yeah, good. That's us for tonight. Parked up, We've got the cliff there that we were sort of fishing down the bottom of. Crack a couple of cold ones and get up early for some more exploration tomorrow.